is the inverter. That's for the internal electrics that run off a leisure battery so that you've got limited use of electricity when you haven't got a hookup. That's behind the driver's seat. Unclip that, drop it forward. There's the leisure battery clipped onto the inverter and the inverter is just there. And that's just behind that. I'll show you the cabinet for the gas which is down there. And there, before your eyes, is the hookup for the camper van. For the campsite, proper hookup. If you're going for the big style of hookup and you're 20 odd metres away, there's a 25 metre extension stored in this front box which is brilliant for storing all sorts of kitting and it's by the door for when you get somewhere and you're first setting up. Other storage includes three drawers for kitchen utensils, whatever you want in there. We tend to keep electric spare batteries and whatnot in there but whatever you want to use it for. Got a shelf up the top. When you are settled in, wherever you arrived, it's great for putting your pots and pans in or your washing and shaving kit and that sort of stuff when you go traipsing off to wherever it is you go to wash, wash your bodies. Um, we've got two cupboards here and these cupboards are made to measure. There's four spaces here and each space fits perfectly. Fits one of these. You know, you get them from Wilco's, a couple of quid each, but they're brilliant. That way you can pull them out, get out what you need, and push them back in. Uh, we tend to put clothes on the top, and anything that's going to spill on the bottom. We've not had spillages yet. We've got a, a wardrobe at the back here for hanging stuff. It's great. Um, <clears throat> all the doors are unmade by me, and along with those doors, We've got under here, we've got the little storage container for the gas bottle, which you can see, and it's easy to get to, no problems at all. Jobs are good in. Underneath the bed, there's room there. One, two smallish suitcases. We've got hangers at the back. We've got various hangers at the front. The curtain pulls across the front. At a push you could kip a youngster or a someone small on the front seat but we tend to just go me and the uh, mem sub. Back here you'll see this the spare wheels stored under the back and when we're tidied up for the day and we're going out or whatever we tend to roll up the bed in and throw it straight at the back then when the seat's up it doesn't get in your way during and that's the famous coffin it's called a coffin because of its size and shape um, and that's great for keeping your camping tables, your gazebo if you take one, an extra tent, uh, camping chairs, all that sort of stuff in there. Uh, generally speaking though, you'll find that most of your stuff fits wherever you want it to go. The rock and roll bed. In the seating position, seat belts for passengers, roller doodats. To put the bed down, really simple. Lever, move it to the side, pull the bottom. It's a bed. When you've finished using it as a bed, really simple to put up. Reach down here, pull out the strap, pull, push with your knees, put the strap away. It's a bed again, it's a chair again. <laughs> 